Kevin Roy, uh, rookie on the PGA Tour. I think the best word to describe my road so far is bumpy, and um, you know I'm hoping that uh, this new chapter is uh, kind of just beginning. What inspired me to get into golf? I would say probably the overall competitiveness of professional golf. You know, I love how every day is a new day uh, with this game. You know, you can go out and shoot a bad day, and you know the next day is a brand new day. So I would say my biggest influence in the game would be my dad, for sure. Um, you know, growing up, watching him play in a lot of these big events um, was really cool. It was really inspiring. My name is Jim Roy, and I am Kevin Roy's father. You know, Kevin's a, wholly, a, a totally different player than I was. Um, you know, he's much better, number one. You know, the game evolves and, and people just get better. But Kevin never had a problem hitting the golf ball. He has a talent for the game. I would come back and tell my wife, you know, he like, it's not that hard for him. Because it's hard for most people when they start the game, you know. You know, to this day, I, I, I talk to my dad pretty much after every competitive round. Uh, every single week, I'll, I'll send him some swings from the driving range wherever I'm at uh, playing. Um, and we talk, we talk daily, whether it's just about the round or what we can improve on, this and that. And uh, he's been a huge influence, for sure. I'll give the advice that my dad always gave me. Um, fall in love with your wedge and your putter. Fall in love with your wedge and putter. Drive it long. And you gotta just, you just have to love it so much that no one has to tell you to practice. We played in a lot of father-son events growing up. And uh, as you can imagine, there was a lot of trash talking going on. My dad uh, had to take the worst of it because he had to play for with me and my brother. So we were two different teams. So. Um, if my dad hit a bad shot for me and a good shot for Kyle, he would definitely uh, hear it from me, for sure. Um, he still can play really good golf. Uh, I mean, there's definitely times he'll beat me, for sure. Um, but, you know, even to this day, I mean, every time we go tee it up, there's, we're always doing something, whether it's, you know, playing for five bucks, ten bucks, or, you know, trash talking a little bit. Um, it's, it's so much fun. My dad's short game is, has, is a little better than mine. Um, he is an unbelievable chipper of the golf ball. So uh, every time he misses a green, I pretty much just chalk it up as he's gonna get it up and down. Um, he can get it up and down from some crazy places. It's hilarious. You know, I watched him shoot 59 out here last August. And, you know, best round of golf I'd ever seen. You know, I mean, 59, come on. I think the proudest golf moment was watching him the final round of the Corn Ferry at Nebraska. Um, when he did not have a good round, I think if he will admit, he felt a lot of pressure on the day before, the final round. It, he had played with pressure for two months, he was on the bubble. And then the final round, he just, he just golfed his ball. I actually get a little teary eyed thinking about it because there's a lot of pressure on that round. And he shot 68, and golfers know how hard that is. And so I, I would say, that round there to get on the PGA Tour with everything on the line, I, I won't forget that. I played a really good Sunday and that was probably the most stressful two and a half hours of my life after I tapped in on 18. You know, luckily once we got the word that we uh, got our card, it was, it was crazy. I mean, I, I started crying, my wife was crying, a lot of hugs. I carry a rosary, I carry a angel, actually two angels. Uh, every round I'll have a 1960s uh, quarter in my pocket, anywhere between 1964 and 1969. Um, I do it just because I know shooting in the 60s is a good score in golf. So um, I carry that and now I, I now carry another ball marker, which my wife made me. It's just a, a picture of our baby. Um, we're having a baby. So uh, I, I carry that now in my pocket as well. I'm most looking forward to, you know, after a round of golf, whether good or bad, it's, it's golf's over with. Now I, I have bigger priorities, uh, you know, to, you know, take care of my soon to be son or daughter. We don't know what, it, uh, we didn't find out. So um, I, I can't wait. I, uh, I really don't know what to expect as it's our first one, but um, you know, I'm, I'm over the moon about it. And you know, I, I uh, can't wait to meet him or her.